I know you're all bunched up in inside your home right now because that shit's going on. Yeah. I have a doc for your old ass. Think making the murder. Mer- you we love making murder. You like sure. making murder. Part sure. two sucked. Think of the original making a murder. And then the Anna Hernandez documentary. Then you love them, right? Yeah. Now imagine those two had a baby. <clears throat> and then out came this documentary called Outcry. Five part series. Outcry. Dude. New? New. Netflix. Just drop Showtime. Showtime. I sound like a homer. It's okay. Showtime, five part series, right? My Brian Daly, my boy at Showtime, texted me and goes, Hey, not sure if you watch uh, Outcry, it's right up your alley. And I was like, Oh, yeah, what it, you know, all right, what is it? He tells me, like, All right, last night I had nothing to watch. It's about nine o'clock. Sucked it. And I was like, I need something. Fuck it. I'll check it out. Click on it. Dude, it? I don't want to spoil it. What's it about? Dude. Don't tell me anything. Just tell me what it's about. Let me tell you what it's about. Kid named Greg Kelly, right outside Austin, Texas. Mm. Stud football player. St- handsome dude. Sure. Super stud. Yeah. Uh, got a Division One scholarship. Had three offers from Rice, uh, Texas San Antonio. Decides to go to UTSA, University of Texas San Antonio. Gets a full ride. He's the star fo- football player. Stud of the town. They're big 5A school, so he's a fucking stud, right? His p- what position? I think he was a safety, or okay. but either way, white guy, right? St- uh, white and uh, Latin mix. His family, his mom, for some reason, they had to leave the district and go move over here. And, but he's in his senior year. And he goes, well, I, I, I got to finish. You know, I'm, I have my senior year coming up. I, I got to play. So a booster who's a big lady, booster lady for the football team goes, he can stay with me. He can stay with me. The mom goes, oh, my God, that's so nice of you. Yeah. No problem. Family moves. He stays there for a senior year. She, oh, it's so Take good. It easy now. Dude, she runs a daycare there. Right? It's the summer. And next thing you know, the kid gets a call from uh, the Texas police, I think Austin police, and goes, uh, you've been accused of sexual assault against a four-year-old boy who's been staying there. He goes, excuse me? Jesus Christ. They go, a four-year-old boy. They show the video of this four-year-old being interrogated by the detectives. And as a a father, you watch this. I I have a four-year-old right now. There's no way the kid would make this up. The kid goes, yeah, Greg... Uh, asked me to uh, if he could put his peepee in my mouth, and you're watching and you're pissed. And I, I'm sick to myself. I'm like, oh, fuck this dude. Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. So uh, under Texas law, they call it super aggravated sexual assault against a minor. The least you can get good is, law. The least it makes already sense. a good law. It's a great. It sounds great. It sounds like a cool car. The least you could get is sounds twenty like a cool car. Is twenty five years with no parole. Mm. That's the minimum. Well, you got to get them off the street. You can't have, have people to. like that well, on the street, right? I agree with it. The maximum is ninety nine years no parole. Okay. So twenty five to ninety nine. Then he's like, "What?" So they book him. They take him in. A week later, another kid comes out. Another kid comes out. And you're like, "What the fuck?" So before they they were going to go to trial, the prosecution goes, "Hey." You can plea and you'll get five years parole, no prison, no five years parole, but you're convicted sexual uh, predator. Your life's over. And the kid goes, I, I'm innocent. No, I'm not taking that deal. I'm not taking a deal. Let's go to court. I'm innocent. They go to court. They find him guilty of both accounts. They find him guilty. And you're like, what the fuck? Now, don't tell me anymore. Dude. You told me a little too much. Dude. Now, hold on. Wait till you. I mean, it's, so it's now a, fi- I'm, it's I'm a so fi- it's, dude. It's a, I'm telling you, dude. It's a five part series, and I started on episode one. I was like, oh. my, I look up my girl. We don't say a word for the. I think they're each a sixty minutes long. We don't say a single it's word. Riveting. Oh, dude, it's unbelievable what happens to this kid. Well, you watched the whole thing. Oh, Papa, I was up to two a.m. I yeah, you can't I stop. I, 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 you can't stop. I, 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 my uh, detective shop was on the case. Yeah, you got to figure it out. I figured out by episode three what's going on. Really? Yep. Interesting. Kid's name's Greg Kelly. Okay. It's but but as a father, yeah. I mean the kids because one kid get well the kids did get actually molested. Yeah. All right. But, so don't no more, no more, no more, no spoilers. Oh, dude. Um, now I'm in. Oh, you? How could you? I'm watching me? that tonight. I'm telling you. Tonight. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Yeah. 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 Watch your tone. Uh, okay. What's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? Use some of that. <laughs> Boxing you've been doing? Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.